Hello YouTube, it is Damien, and this is Damo does England. It is season six, season four here with Bournemouth, and today we have a game that breaks up all the Premier League drama. We have the Club World Cup final between Bournemouth and Boca. Obviously, we're in the Club World Cup final because we did win the Champions League. However, for the first time, I reckon, in my football manager history, I think that I... I definitely know my streaming history. I think this is the first time I've appeared in the competition. Um... I think maybe going back in FM 13, 14, I did saves past winning the Champions League. Usually what I did when I played off stream, and as it so happens on stream and on YouTube, is usually I set out the goals for my save, and usually it's to win the FA Cup, Premier League, Champions League, and um, there's probably one more in there that I've forgotten as well. Uh, with the current club that I'm at, as it so happened with Bright, uh, Bright Lights, the last thing that I had to do was win the Champions League. Back in my Liverpool save when we won the Champions League, that was the last thing I had to do. There was a few other things as well. Um, what else was it? You know, um, HK, um, the thing was to win the Champions League with HK. We won the Champions League, didn't worry about the Club World Cup final um, or getting to the Club World Cup. So I've never won it before, so it'll be quite nice to do it and to win it. Uh, it doesn't warrant the suit because I don't think it's a really important thing. I think it's just kind of a tournament to highlight what's going on in world football and to really showcase all the best of world football. But usually whoever wins the Champions League is the strongest and the, the, you know, it should be quite easy for them. Boca won't be overly easy. Boca will be difficult, but we should be able to go and beat Boca is what I'm trying to say. Anyhow, we do have Boca in that final. Boca's never won it. They've made the final a few times, which does surprise me because Boca usually are very good in Argentina. And I would imagine, considering world football, they're usually very good. I would imagine they've probably played Real Madrid a lot down the years um, in like recent time. Makes it quite difficult to go and win it. As you can see, though, in the cha in the Champions League, in the Premier League, Liverpool have dropped their last two games. They played Everton and United. A nil nil draw away at Everton. It seems to be the most common result on FM. They got that spot on with what happened in real life. And then United drew 1 1 as well there at Anfield. Liverpool dropping points. We have a game in hand to go four points behind Liverpool. And look, if we can stay as we're doing, you know, if we can keep staying four points behind, not let that gap drop, when we come to playing Liverpool at Anfield, we can make it, maybe make it one. And then if Liverpool drop points somewhere else, we are on their tails. Anyhow, as you can see, we are also through in the Champions League. We topped the group very easily. We actually drew a game to Inter. There are our reserve boys somewhere, but that kind of helped us top the group because Inter couldn't catch us. Um, as you can see, we did get drawn Olympic Lyon, who we played both times in the group stage last season. We beat them 1-0 away, and we beat them at home, or we drew at home like 2-2. Um, yeah, I think that's it. We beat them 1-0 away. We drew them 2-2. That would actually mean we would have gone through on aggregate if we put the two ties together. So it'll be an interesting tie. I'm not going to plan on giving you any of the Champions League stuff to the semi-final yet again if we make it there. I honestly don't particularly care as long as we win the league and that is the plan. Since we would have last met here on YouTube, which was that Liverpool game, we lost a Stoke in the Cabaret Cup and it was all going to... Um, I did get off the stream after this game. I've kind of been doing some editing, doing some cleaning, um, uh, doing some stuff for coaching, some research on the team that we do have this weekend for my under-18s and how we're going to play. You know, other coaches sent us some messages and all stuff to do that. And off we go. Watford there, 6-2. Norwich 1-3-2. Cardiff 1-0. Stoke 4-1. Bristol we beat as well 3-0. And as you can see yeah, in the Champions League, you know, we played a reserve side and we still beat um, Hyvenden. I can't pronounce it. They I call them like the Hearts because they got Hearts on their thing. Um, and then we played Toronto in the semi-final. Played a full strength side against Toronto. And look, in the end, Toronto didn't really threaten us, but we can only find one. By the way, there's an injury to Sissoko. Diego, though, he is unreal at the moment. He's apparently a leading player for most Premier League sides. But in the whole, he is unbelievable. And I'm going to tell you right right now, ladies and gentlemen, this guy is better than Sissoko. And I'm going to start leading him in more and more into the first team. And I reckon in the run-in, this guy is going to be huge for us. If he can learn to play naturally as a winger and be a leading winger, I'm sorry, Sissoko. Oh, sorry, Sissoko. Sorry, Ryan. Mr. Sessignon, you're probably not done, but you'll be a bench player. As you can see, we can have more than um, the options on the bench. Danny Drinkwater, we can get onto the bench. Scuff it, we'll get onto the bench. I'm going to get Carl Olslop to the bench. We'll get Danny Quinn to the bench because we've been left in the lurch before. As you can see, Sessignon is still out for a little bit, still out for another week or two. Um, but we are going to go full strength here because our next league game isn't for three days and it's Huddersfield away. And look, we should be beating Huddersfield even with our reserve side. We then have Brighton before we have United in a massive league game, which I probably will cover on YouTube as well. Anyway, in to this cup final here in the Champions World, you know, in the Champions Cup or the World Champions Cup. 
I don't know what it's called. Club World Championship Finals, what they're calling it. It's the Club World Cup. That's what I'm after. Anyway, they have gone Rivers up from P, um, Di Pietro, Dominguez, Cardona's a great winger. The Paul, um, surprisingly, the Paul playing in the central, he usually is a winger. Um, they got that card for Hull guy. He's um, the Colombian international just moved the block of 626k. Um, this guy is on my radar for Brighton. However, Brighton actually have a centre back. I'm thinking so much ahead about Brighton. Liverpool's still top of the league, so we've got that to worry about. So we won't focus on that too much, but there's been a few lads that I've scouted, like Revis, I've scouted already. Um, who else have I scouted? I've scouted the Pietro too. Um, I haven't actually, he needs to be scouted. And I've scouted one more of them. Um, not Bedento, not Martinez. Is there a hot prospect? I don't see him there. Anyway, we are going to continue on and off we go. Anyhow, enough about Boca and their great regens. We are going to go on and be there. Look, lads, we just need to go out there, put in performance. Let's go lift that trophy and let's go win another competition and help build what we can do. Like, Rodrigo is usually a winger. Attacking midfielder, apparently. On, you know, he usually plays out wide on the right or, or on the left. Um, Nicholas Tagliago, by the way, is a really good centre back you can pick up maybe at Brighton. Anyway, um, I'm not bothered, to be honest. I'm confident we can find a way through them. I don't think we're too bad. We're going to play a normal game. I'm confident. Um, I'm focusing on what we can do here. And off we go. We are here against Boca. Boca wearing the additional blue and the yellow. And it will be us in the black and the red. Would be nice to go here and win. It's snowing here. Um, can't remember where the cup final is, to be honest. But it is an early cross to Diego Lanzi. He's got a really good corner. Unfortunately, though, that one there. But yeah, that's the thing by having him on the park. He's got 17 um, free kick taking, 16 corners. Him and Alvarez, between the two of them, just whack free kicks for fun, which is going to be good. And this guy's been all right. But the long ball up to Revis. We're 1 0 down here in the cup final inside a minute and a half. Long from the keeper. A flick on from Cardona. Revis in the hole. And it's old style football there. Not the Boca you would have normally associated, and not a Boca goal. You would have associated nice, fluent Argentinian football. Great kick out from the keeper. Cardona raises over Aurea, and Rivas won't miss that one. We are 1 0 down in the Club World Cup final. After having a corner, down the other end it comes. And we are 1 0 down. Look, there should be enough quality out here for us to get something out of this anyway. Diego's going to get on it. He whips that one in there, and only as far as Heidemann is the clearance. Carlos, though, hits it wide. I expect us to create a lot of chances here in the snow. And I expect us to get on top and really look to win this game. Looks like they're having shots from distance. That doesn't bother them too much, to be honest. They're actually playing really well with our Boca too. But it's a corner and it's Diego. He whips that one in. It's not the worst ball in the world. Ginter heads down. Alvarez out of Heidemann. Heidemann hits from distance. What a strike from Heidemann. Well, not from distance, but from the angle. Across the keeper and in. Parity is restored. And the favourites, Bournemouth, go 1-1 one, one here. And there we are. Diego there with a good corner in. In the end, well headed away from the left back. Alvarez, one touch into our Heidemann. One touch to set himself. Real cut that one bend in. He also scored goal of the month for a long range hit with his left foot. Um, it was nothing special. It was just from long range that killed him. Anyway, Cardona's off injured, which is huge because Cardona, I think, is like a great winger to pick up. Um, you know, he's technically superb and he's physically not bad. If you can pick him up early in your Premier League saves, not a bad player. Anyway, long ball in the end. It's going to fall to Silva. Silva now. Good ball out of Diego. Diego through. Pietro Pellegrini with a chance. What a save from the keeper. You would have bat Pietro Pellegrini in. The leading world-class Italian striker. Now leaves the line for Italy. You would have backed him in, but unfortunately, nothing there. Anyway, the corner in again from Diego, but straight at Matt Conga. Can't find his uh, range at the moment, is, does Diego from the corners. But when he does, they're going to be deadly. Anyway, time's ticking away. Can we get one before half time? Is it going to be half time here? It is. And there's 1 1 here in the cup final. We are going to tell the boys that we, you know, we're happy so far. Keep it up. Um, you weren't that bad, but I have the ability. I'm going to say that we've probably dominated this game a little bit more. Um, I might leave it on the more direct 4 4 2, only because we're starting to create a few chances in it. Um, it is snowing too. We've had 13 shots, 10. We could go to the possession-based 4 4 and really try and work something. But Revis has a free kick. Hits that one straight at Raya. And Raya will claim easy. And if Raya wants to go and throw wide, which he does, Jorge's there. And off goes Jorge, running into the space. Jorge into Pellegrini. He's coming out on this um, left-hand side. Into Jorge. Jorge still going with it. Still Jorge. Drills that one in back stick. Alvarez! The instant hero has done it again. He could be the hero of this cup final. Paolo Alvarez got an assist and a goal. He's a man for all the occasions. He's been capped by Portugal as well since we've come off stream. 
and Penelo Alvarez with a good, good, good goal at the back stick. Drills at first time past the keeper. It will be, a, you know, it. this Bournemouth side is unreal. It is going to be one of the best, you know, sides I've ever assembled in football manager in a short space of time. It has to go down as one of them. What we've achieved with Bournemouth so far is huge. And Diego has a chance to make it free. Ballins hit the post. Diego's range has not been that great. He has got a 7.0, so we're not be taking off. Anyhow, it's not over. And Bock have a corner. Revis against the runner play yet again. Bocca make it 2-2. What a cup final. Every time we are on top, Bocca go bang. And there we are. Obviously, we had a corner in the first minute. Bocca go on the break and score. We're just all over and Bocca win a corner from nothing, from what we've never seen. We haven't seen anything, and then bang. Carlos isn't having his best of the game, but this guy's been on fire. Adriano Ancini has growing into a superb player, and he's been scoring goals in the cup. He scored five goals in six UEFA Champions League appearances, all from distance. So we're going to get him out there. The left-footed of Ancini, the bomb on from middle of the park. Get him out there for Carlos. Off we go. And we find a moment here. Pellegrini's not having the best of it, nor is Amelia Silva. I'm going to get Mr. Bournemouth on, Callum Wilson. We might leave Marino for a little bit later and see if we take Pellegrini off a little bit late doors. I'm going to tell the lads to just get creative out here. The possession, well, the possession base 4 2 might come out in extra time, but I want to leave a change for that as well. Pellegrini's still not having his best of days out there. 90 minutes played. It looks like time's going to tick away. We are going to need extra time here in the cup final. To be fair to Boca, they've had 14 shots, 10. We haven't been our best. Boca have given us quite a game. And it is 2-2. I'm far from pleased with what I'm going to say to everybody. And I'm going to tactically go in and say to Pellegri, you've not been good enough. Marino is on as the poacher. He's been scoring goals for fun. And in he comes. Tired legs. He's got great pace, great finishing ability. And off we go. Can he get up there as a poacher? Get a ball in over the top? Can Callum Wilson feed him in or vice versa? In the end, though, it is 2-2. Mr. Revis, who we highlighted pre-game, has banged in a couple. And off we go. 105 minutes played. It's still 2-2 here in the cup final. This one's going to have penalties, ladies and gentlemen. It has that feel, doesn't it? We're all over them in terms of creating chances, but we've been a little bit open at the back, which has not been the case for us in the league usually. I'm going to start the second half, and I'm not going to really make a change. And off we go into the second half. 110 minutes. It's a corner. And they've been good, Bocca. Ball in, headed away from Marino. Revis, though, the man of the moment for Bocca, gets on the ball. Inside, a ball. Carvajal, the centre back. Inside, Di Pietro. Had a chance to win the cup final. Puts it wide. Not seen anything from the boys. It looks like it's going to tick away here. Is there going to be a late, late moment in the cup final? Or is it going to be penalties? In the Club World Cup final, we're going to a penalty shootout. And I do want to win it. And off we go. All right. So we are going to pick it. Who's got penalties? Marino does. Wilson does. Alvarez does. Ginter has great composure. So does Heidemann. Heidemann will go first. I have full faith in Marino, but Callum Wilson will take number five. Alvarez, Ginter in the middle. I reckon we go Ginter, Alvarez, Wilson. We go like that. You'll then probably get Jorge in as well. We'll probably get Wallace in. Um, Sergio Aurier has got good composure as well. We'll get him in too if we need eight. We have a very good keeper out there. David Ray is known for a little bit of a penalty stopper. Off we go into the shootout. It looks like Boca is shooting first. I hate when the opposition shoot first. I prefer to always go first. It's Benedito. We are going to slow it down to just normal medium speed. Benedito steps up. Raya goes the right way, but first penalty, Boca score. And the pressure all on us. It always is the worst being first because if you miss, you're in trouble. We took a couple of penalty takers off to try and win the game too, which doesn't help like Pietro Pellegri. And, but anyhow, Heidemann, what a save from the keeper. And in the shootout, we missed the first one, and it's 1 0. Espinosa. Take a sip. Espinosa steps up, puts the ball on the spot. Espinosa sends Raya the wrong way. 2 0 down. Half the score this one now. Half the score. Marino's going to step up now. A man from Real Madrid. Marino, the free agent, has been great all your season. Marino. Game over in the shootout. We missed two. Nervo. You sound like nerves. Drew one eye over the bar. Nervo versus Raya. It's 
game over. It is game over in the club at World Cup. It's been a classic, but we haven't gone out there and taken a penalty at all. Ginter now to step up. Ginter has to score. I highly doubt that we're winning this shootout. Ginter versus the keeper. He's made two saves. We finally put one in the back of the net. That's good to know. And there we are. Ginter steps up. And there we are. Look. Raya. Known as a penalty stopper. Seen him save a couple in some Premier League games. Can he just give us a little bit of hope? So if we can save this one, score the next one, we'll just say to Boca, off you go, go score to win it. And then anything can happen then. Lovera, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. And it looks like we might lose this cup final. Lovera, ball in, game over. Boca win the Club World Cup. I'm left shell-shocked. And it's finished 2-2. Boca win it. It's going to be really hard to take in terms of morale. Simply put, not good enough. To be honest, we weren't great. And there we go. Mr. Revis with a double. Heidem and Marino both miss. And there you go. It hurt so much. Because obviously we were meant to win it. We should have won it. Bok has done us over. They probably deserve to have done us over too, to be fair, right? Because we weren't great defensively. They probably deserved both goals. The shootout went pear-shaped from the beginning. There's not much you can do. Anyhow, from Day Red Does England, from episode 63, I think it is. I'll see you for episode 64, which will probably be Man United in a not-too-distant future because it's a huge game. I'll see you then, ladies and gentlemen. It hurts to have lost this one, but I prefer to lose the Club World Cup final and win the Premier League.